Okay. For the hood bumper stop adjustments, if you take a look, there are two spring metal plates that are used as a nut for the adjusting bumper. And there's a little round hole, which I'll point to, what Linda's pointing to, that we are interested in. There's one on each side of the nut. Oh man, that's hard to see. Linda is going to take a different video in a moment as I show how to loosen the nut and how to tighten it. Right now, the nut is in its tightened position, so you cannot turn this. I have seen some folks in some comments say, oh, well, you have to take a pair of pliers. Okay. I'll try to explain this as right, we you go. Just started this yes, again. I did. So the recording is running. I'm going to clip the excess. Okay. Okay, I'm after this little round spot right here. So I take a screwdriver and a hammer and I simply strike this so that the top lock plate turns counterclockwise. Like so. When I do that, this becomes loose. So I can turn it or unscrew it or screw it back in as much as I want. Now once you have this adjusted where you want it, you tighten it back down by going back in the opposite direction. I'm going to take the screwdriver, put it in the little round hole, take a hammer, and force that plate back into a locked position. I think it's in. I'm gonna go with the screw hole on the other side and tap it also and make sure. When it's locked, once again, I cannot turn this. So that's how I do it. There is probably a special tool for that, but I've never been able to find it. The technique that I use works well. I hope that helps. And you can kill.